Bell's not. <laughs> How are you, man? Good to see you. I love you, man. <laughs> you look really good, man. You got a gym? No, no. Whoa, man. Jeez. <laughs> How are you? Oh, yeah, this is house, man. I'm it's so good. glad to see you, man. Mm -hmm. It's too long. Oh, no! How are you, H? Hi, how are you? I'm really good. <laughs> I feel like I want to cry or something. I don't know what's going on. This book, ladies and gents. What's that car there? Silly little kid. Yeah, this car it's still the same. Does it work? Yeah, you have to, like a bike, you know? I want to ride it. There's no, keep off the grass sign, huh? <laughs> it's Highbury. <laughs> wow. <laughs> See, that, that's what he does. I'm riding it. You can fight him over and then... <laughs> can I just park here? If you can, yeah. This is fun, man. <laughs> Dennis, I can't tell you how happy I am to see you, bro. When did you realise and say to yourself, OK, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sign for Arsenal? And, you mm. know, how, how did that come about? What, what happened? Well, I, I went to, to Italy from Ajax, mm. and uh, I played there two years, but um, it wasn't really going my way. How come? And, uh, well, different of opinion with the, with the manager, with the coach, and we, um, my agent spoke at, at the, the end of the second season. He spoke to the to the owner, yeah, and um, he asked him, well, what's going to happen for next year? And it wasn't really clear what was going to happen, what kind of system they're going to play. Yeah. Or then I said, then well, I I would like to move on then because yeah, it's my career and. I've seen Italy now, but uh, in the end, I, I always wanted to go to England after Italy. So, um, uh, so I decided to to move. Yeah. So I spoke to my agent, and he had some connections with Arsenal at the time. And uh, I remember there was a big article about Arsenal in the in the in a football magazine yeah. in, in Holland. You know, just highlighting the club and. Yeah, how it was there with all the players and stuff, and I, I, I had a good feeling with that. I got to tell people because we got to tell people then about the the meeting, you know, at the yeah at the uh, the, the service station. Yeah. And you did you sign that day? Yeah. And then we we, we bumped into you at, the, yeah. at the petrol station. Yeah. Can we, you remember? Yeah. I, well, I, I do remember, and I I really can't understand it's how that happened. <laughs> it was <laughs> unbelievable <laughs> because normally. Of course, I, I, I drive, drove back all the time yes. from, from England to, to, to Holland. And, and normally you go f to the north. You go round the other way. Round the other but way. This, you yeah. Came this way. But now I came this way, which is longer, but I didn't know at the time. It yeah. Just, yeah. And I uh, went into the petrol station. And I think you, you told a, a different story. I don't know. <laughs> but <laughs> how I remember it is yeah. that you came behind and get past me yes. and looked to behind like, what, what's he doing? Why is he moving forward? And, and you were really upset in the car and yeah. all the gestures and everything. But then you saw me and it was like, that eyes! Oh my God! Yeah. I remember saying, oh my God! Ah. <laughs> what did Mr. Dean say to you about what he wanted you to do in respect to the club? Well, he, I think he already had a plan in his mind when he signed uh, uh, David Platt and yeah. me at that time, that he, he wanted something to change because, um, of course, it was boring Arsenal That's what they in a way. Yeah. And uh, uh, maybe it wasn't that exciting, but it was very effective. Yeah. And for the future, because David Dean was, is of course someone who's looking abroad always mm -hmm. uh, in the world. Yeah. And um, I think he already had a plan with the signings and after maybe one or two a year after Arsene came, of course, yeah. and, and Fiera came and a few other foreign yeah. uh, signings. So um, 
what he basically said to me was like, um, well, we're very exciting that you that you're here. You you can change that. You yeah. can change it from boring to uh, yeah. exciting, which was a lot for me, of course, because yeah, after two years in Italy, yeah. which for the world wasn't maybe successful. More pressure. Yeah. More pressure. More pressure. But it, it, it felt like okay, I wanna, I like that challenge. That's that's okay. How did you feel once it started and people were going on and on about? how you're playing, it wasn't the right thing. Yeah. Stuart Pearce mentioned something about they should have signed Stan Collymore instead of you. I think something, it was Alan Sugar. Alan Sugar said something, yeah. Well, what was it, Alan Sugar? I remember you said, <coughs> Alan Sugar said, what did Alan Sugar say? Well, I, w I was, of course, one of the first foreign players to come to the, to the Premier League. Mm -hmm. And, um, of course, the feeling could be like, oh, they just come here to, to get money yeah. and, and then they move, move on again, uh, which was not the case for me because I had an all different idea, of course. But that's what he said as well, like, oh, they just come over here yeah. and um, yeah, take the money and, and, and they're off. But uh, to be honest, in those first weeks, months maybe, seven games yeah. in the Premier League, um, we weren't in, in, a, in a house yet, my wife and me. We right. were in a hotel. Right. And uh, we didn't read any newspapers. We didn't know of any newspapers, which were the tabloids, or mm. which were famous, or, or talk bad about me. I, I, I didn't see that. You could feel it within the team, within the, in the stadium. You know where. What do you mean? What, what do you feel? The anxiety. Yeah, like like because the players they were they were brilliant, of course, with me. But I could feel like okay. You need something you need, to happen. Need, yeah, and something you you need to deliver something or. They could see it in, in training, probably, but yeah, of course, everyone was waiting for the moment that uh, that it would happen. When it did, the, the South, how did you got to explain how you you felt going into the Southampton game because it was it was it was two awesome goals you scored. Yeah, when when I scored that first goal, yeah, I saw that goal many times, but I was watching the fans behind. Right, and right. it was unbelievable how they 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 exploded. They were just like so so happy for me it felt like that they were happy for me that i scored that goal mm. of course for arsenal as well but they they really think oh he deserves that and that was uh, yeah probably for me the, the the first time that i thought okay how did you feel that season went and how it finished and what did you feel like bam yes i'm ready to go now yeah, because in that season, uh, normally it takes for a foreign player about five or six months yeah. to, to adjust yourself to, uh, to the team. Or um, For me, it was maybe the seven games. Yes. Like, okay, this is it. And now I know what to do. Um, I felt at home. Because you have to realize when you come from Italy, that's more, football is more like a job. Yes. Like work from nine to five. And... and um, in what I, way then? I, what, what do you mean? The, 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 what, the training? The, yeah, the training. And, and you have to get one point or you have to get three points. Right. You, you don't want to lose, you know that. And I sort of, maybe sort of lost the feeling what football is all about, which is a game. It's, yes. it's, yeah, you have to, you got to have fun. So in the first few, few months of the season, in 95, it was more like, OK, let's see how this Premier League is, how, uh, how the team is, how how the club is and, and see what happens. And, and then after that, I felt, yeah, I felt at home. It, it felt great again. Oh, this is, yeah. Do you use this room much? No. <laughs> Not a lot. Wow. Well, now we had so much stuff and we, we built this house and we thought, yeah, we need to. Uh, yeah. Which one's your favorite, man? From the shirts? Yeah. Yeah. Probably an Arsenal shirt. I like to in this. I like to in this. Um, this one there. This yeah. One there. I like that one. Yeah. I, th I, I agree. It's kind of special. Yeah. Highbury was special for me, of course. Yeah, man. To play there. All you know the which one? Stuff. Not which one I am. Um, I remember the, the end of the, your first season. I'm sure we'll talk about it because I was, I was, I think I was injured or something. When I came on. It was when that, that goal you scored at the end of that season, man. The, uh, oh, uh, was it against Bolton? Uh, yeah, it? yeah. Yes, man. It's a little bit of payback from Platy. <laughs> yeah, to, yeah. To, to, yeah, to Arsenal. 
difficult season and we got into Europe with that game. So yeah, that was a, that was it was good. that was a tough one. You know, it was a, it was a tough season for me because because Bruce, but like um, we won't. <laughs> I, I know what you mean. You told me many times. <laughs> Arsenal Wenger came. What was that like? What did he? What did he say to you in respects of what he wants you to be in respects of the leader of the team? We know Tony Adams hmm. was a captain and he was uh, the lead. But you know how they talk about like how Messi's yeah. the leader now, how Ronaldo's the leader of his team and stuff like that. You would you were definitely hmm. the leader of the team. What 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 was Arsene Wenger saying to you about what he wanted? Well, I, re I remember that period that it was a little bit difficult for us, for me. Mm. How come? Because um, um, it was my second season. Yeah. Um, the manager got sacked in pre-season. Yeah. And I was like, OK, what's going to happen? And then David Dean again, he said, no, calm down. We, we got a good plan. Was there, was there a time that somebody, the people want you? Was there, was there a time you might have been thinking maybe I might have to move? Well, pre well not, not really to move, but like, uh, yeah, well, what is going to happen now? Because we're in pre-season, yeah. we played two games which we didn't lose, no. five or six nil, it was just a normal, and, yeah. and suddenly there's a change of manager, and um, yeah, we didn't really know much about uh, uh, Arsene at that time. No, we didn't. Um, but then I realized that um, when I played at Ajax years, years before, uh, there were only two teams in Europe who played a 4-3-3 system, which was Ajax mm. and Monaco. Monaco yeah. And he was the manager of Monaco at that time. So that gave me a good, good feeling. And, and as soon as he was with us, because he stayed in Japan for a few years. Yeah, he was few, with Grandpa's eight. Yeah. But, and uh, as soon as he was, um, when he came to us, he, um, yeah, he had <laughs> so it's a, all sorts of different tactics and Strange, techniques and training. The, the, the pre-season, because you remember the pre-season before, I don't, I don't think I've run as hard as I've ever run. That was the hardest one, because it was one where Bruce Rio had done, remember we had to run all the way around Coney. Yeah. And yeah. then we had to, then <laughs> yeah. when we thought we finished, then we had to run behind the slowest person. Remember that one? Yeah. So then it was like Maxi or Dave Seaman who had, <laughs> had to be in front and no one could finish in front of them. And so then we had to make sure that they finished, like, oh, this team combat thing, ah, yeah. oh, Marines. But then when Arsene, <laughs> when Arsene Wenger came, it was almost like, I don't feel fit enough. Yeah. It, did you I feel remember. like that? Because I remember, when yeah. we had to... Yeah. It was, um, I remember there were all, all the poles were in the, yeah, in the, the ground, training group, yeah. in, 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 in a big circle. And you, you had to run, like, from pole to pole in 15 seconds. Yeah. Not fast. Not fast. And slowly, Just slowly. Nice. Yeah. Which is a different um, mentality, I think. Mm. And what about the, you know, we had to take a lot of like the, the, the vitamin stuff and the tablets and the injection, then the people had to stretch us. And yeah. you know, all them yeah. did you, how did you, did, was that something that you was comfortable with? Because yeah. all of a sudden, you know what I mean? We had to get pure injections into our arm and all that sort of stuff. Yeah, that, well, I, I remember, of course, that in in, um, in Europe, in Holland and, and Italy, I think there was more knowledge about yeah. diets and, and yeah, pre-match meals and everything. I was surprised in my first few seasons at, at Arsenal mm -hmm. how the, 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 the pre-match meal was and the, the mini bar was, was full in the, in the hotel room <laughs> and everything. <laughs> and I was like, OK, got a game tomorrow. Mm. And, yeah, those little things he changed, of course, uh, from from the start, mm. and um, which was good. But it wasn't really a surprise for me, and, and also with uh, vitamins and, and mm. everything. It yeah, it, it was, was known, for me then. Yeah, it was because like what I realised is that because we we, we room together, what what I I didn't take them a lot at the start. No, I didn't. You didn't take them no. as well because I, I, for some reason. I don't, I don't know, I just wasn't used to it. Yeah. And, and especially, you know, we, all of a sudden, we, the, the creatine. Remember, everybody's going yeah. crazy about yeah. the creatine. Yeah. Do you remember that? Yeah, I remember. People talking about, what is this creatine? Yeah. Is, it, is it, you know? This, and so I was kind of afraid of it until he pulled. Did he ever pull you and tell you, listen, this is good stuff. This yeah. is going to be OK. No, I, I, I knew I knew it was, was, was OK, but it's... Um, uh, 
Yeah, I think when, when you just live your normal life as a footballer, mm -hmm. you you take care of your food and you take care of, of, of drinking and everything uh, to rest, uh, bedtime, mm -hmm. all sorts of things. But um, at that time at Arsenal, there were, of, of course, a few youngsters who were just... Ray. Yeah. <laughs> I remember when we played um, tennis in the afternoon. Mm. And we went to, uh, what was it, David Lloyd or some sort of centre? Yeah, David Lloyd centre. And uh, I think we, we, we were going to play tennis. We might have been. And there were a few players there, I won't name names. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> they were the, like, like, the, like the machine there, the gambling machine. <laughs> <laughs> With two pints of beer, yeah. just drinking. And I thought, wait a minute, we trained this morning. Mm. And one o'clock in the afternoon, so... That was a little bit against my uh, belief how you mm. should approach football. Yeah. Which would you say was was your best? Would you would you say the best season where you felt that it really it was really happening for you? I think in that season uh, was it 97, 98? Yeah, 97. I think where we started. Yeah. When we uh, at Leeds, I think I remember as well that we 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 had the kickoff, and you said to me. We could be champions this year. Oh, look, I, honestly, it's you just... did. You did. So I looked around and I looked at the team. I thought, okay, yeah, we might have a chance. Yeah. But with the experience I had from the previous uh, years, I thought, okay. I, th I think that season, in, in terms of, um, yeah, f feeling that you're so good that mm. you not only know that you're gonna uh, play well in mm. a game, but you sort of decides decide that you're going to score as well mm -hmm. you know that feeling like so much power so much belief in yourself that you and physically you're at the top of your your mm -hmm. game that you just go out and play games like uh, yeah knowing you're you're, yep. you're 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 the best jeez man that that's that goal there is look <laughs> this remember that you were there yeah that's Leicester isn't it? this was this is the Leicester. Yeah. That's the Leicester. Did you see, did you notice that when, um, when you done that, Dennis, did you notice how he dragged your neck or something? Do you, do you see it? No. Um, when, you, when you went, when you went, because you done the touch and you went boom, and then you bring it here, didn't you, don't you, he grabbed, oh, yeah, 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 he grabbed yeah. your neck. Oh, yeah, 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 when I went that way, yeah. 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 You know, I love this one here, because I remember I was watching it. The 98, the, the, yeah, the, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, it's quite. Uh, Look at you showing emotion there, Den. First time. <laughs> just, just really, it's a strange picture. Seeing you showing. Yeah, it was special because I, I started injured on the tournament. You remember? Yes. It's '98. Yes. With, yeah, '98. Uh, yeah. Missed the FA Cup, which was a dream for me to play in. Dude, yeah, of course. I remember you used to always say about the FA Cup. Remember yeah, you missed I, it? I thought. I thought. And how many times you're going to play an FA Cup final in your career? Normally, mm. hopefully once yeah. if you're a professional footballer in England. And then how did that injury come about, Dennis? Because I remember we was training. How did, I, 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 all of a sudden, I, I was training, and then you, you just, you was. Yeah, that was the second. Uh, the first time I, I, I got injured in, um, in a game, and then I missed, like the, the, the when we won the championship. Yes. I think it was, yeah. was it Everton at home. Everton at home, yeah. Yeah, the four 0 Yeah. So I missed that game. I was focusing on, on, on the final, yes. FA Cup final, and the Thursday before the Saturday of the final. I tried a few things out yeah. in training and with a free kick, I yeah. felt it again. So that was gone. But then I had to focus on the World Cup, of course, yeah. 98. Was you worried that you wasn't <coughs> going to make that? Yeah, yeah, really worried. I remember at one stage I was, um, I was getting a treatment in, uh, uh, yeah, like, like a Dutch FA uh, yeah. center. And then the head coach, Hiddink, he came and he said, yeah, well, we have to see what's going to happen. Yes. And I said, what do you mean? Well, if you're in the squad or not, because... Whoa. And I, <laughs> this was, was the first time. The squad? Yeah, it was the first time I realized, okay, this is serious. Yeah, of course, he, he, he needed to know about the numbers of, course, of, of the squad. And, was he and scared? I started booing. Yeah, I was. So the first game I missed, I was on the bench. I came on like 10 minutes. And after that, I was, uh, I was okay. okay. <laughs> with, yeah, with the call, of course. Yeah. It's cool, man. This is a yeah, cool room, good. man. Yeah, this is nice. This is a uh, special... Uh, it's made by the Robin van Persie's dad. Oh, yeah? Yeah. He's like an artist. 
So he made it for the testimonial for my career. Well, so it was sweets special. or something? No, it was just a paper. little paper, yeah. I think even it's from all the programs. Was it? That's awesome, man. I think so, yeah, it's really nice. That's cool. Let's go again. A few memories here, yeah. Dennis, I know that I, um, I mentioned, I told people that about your pyjamas because you had some great pyjamas, but <laughs> I didn't like... Why did you tell people that I sleepwalked, man? Well, it happened. Was you scared? I wasn't scared, no, but it was, it was, was quite you funny. Were you laughing at me? Because knowing you, I thought you were just... Messing around. Messing around. <laughs> I didn't realise. I didn't realise. I was fast asleep? Yeah. Because she was, yeah, sleeping I before. To, yeah, I forgot to tell you. I should have told you when we was rooming well, that, Dennis, I might Would have been handy, yeah. Yeah, it would have been handy? Yeah. <laughs> Dennis, when people find out that I was coming, um, and people always talk to me about the goal, mm. you know, the Newcastle goal, so it's that you mentioned. Yeah. And people say, did he do it on purpose? It's not whether he'd yeah. done it on purpose, it's more of the reaction to what, That's How right. did it happen, Dennis? Because like, once Perez passed it to you, yeah. What happened? Because yeah. I've never seen it before, I've never seen it again. What, what yeah. happened? Yeah, f for me, I had one thing on my mind. I wanted to go to the goal. Yeah. And to be fair, the pass of Robert wasn't a good pass. <laughs> it was behind me a little right. bit. And I was still trying to Try. go that way. So yes. I turned my body a little bit and I flicked it with my left. But because I turned my body, my body was going to the already right. that way. Yeah. So it would have been, in my mind, it would have been strange or, or yeah. not doable to turn back, back again. Yeah. And I knew with the spin of the ball, it would come back to my right anyway if I turn, turn that way. And after that, uh, yeah, a, a few things came together. I, I had to uh, have contact with, uh, with uh, Dabi Sas. I, th I, I think it was. might have been, yeah. yeah. Contact and... Um, yeah, a little push, and then the ball came automatically to my right, of yeah. course, because it, it, it spun. And, um, yeah, then you have to pick the corner, which is, well, as you know, the, the, the far corner yeah. is, is wider. Yeah. And it, it only takes a little bit of movement with your, with your Did body. Did you realise the kind of goal you scored then? Because I remember no. at home I was watching it. No. You didn't no. even realise? No, I, I didn't realise, because, and a lot of... Well, so many people came to me and said, did you mean it? Exactly what you said. Did you mean it? Did you mean it? And I said, I don't understand the question. <laughs> what did, you mean? did you mean the move? Did... So then after two days, it was the first time I watched it back on, uh, on telly. Mm -hmm. And then I realized, okay, I, I understand what why the, they're asking. Yeah, why, why they're asking the question. But it's... So Dennis, what I'm getting now from you is, is if, if the pass was better, you probably wouldn't have done that, that yeah, move. Yeah, true, yeah. Yeah, true. Uh, you just adjust yourself to, to, to what, what's, what's happening. And, um, yeah, the ball came behind me and, and I wanted to go that way. So I could control the ball, but then the, 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 the attack was gone. The it was, attack. Yeah, it was, it was dead. So I wanted to keep it moving and, um, yeah, control it. And in the end, it looked, looked, it looked good, of course. It looked but, uh, amazing. <laughs> but but uh, for me, there was only one thing on my mind. I, I played one against one. I wanted to go as yeah. fast as possible to the goal. What was it like when Sol came? And, and, you know, Sol was... Um, because <laughs> I remember what we, uh, what we tried with Sol, building up to the game uh, at Spurs. Yeah. Every time he touched the ball in training, we started... <laughs> <laughs> We just started booing him. And <laughs> so he, at first he was like, what are you what doing? Are you doing? No, you get used to it, no way. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so I remember, because in, in the warm-up of a game, yeah. um, we were always going from sideline to sideline. And, and, and Sol used to join me. Yeah. But that was the only game I thought, I don't want to walk next to him. <laughs> <laughs> I was scared. <laughs> so the, the whistling and, and, and horrible, the shouting right? and, and, and all the signs they, they held yeah. and, and he was just being sold, just running like yeah. nothing yeah. bothers me. And yeah, yeah, he had a kind of dignity about him which yeah. was quite admirable but I loved that. If I was a trainer I would have done the same. Yeah, it was I'd have booed him all the time. <laughs> like, see, that was a really good one. Dennis, can you remember the time when 
Arsenal and Man United, that rivalry kind of started. And how did you feel going into those games and the players you were playing against? Because they had a, a magnificent team. Yeah. Yeah, I, 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 I don't really know the years anymore, but for the, my feeling when I first came to, um, to England, I didn't have the feeling that we could be champions. Yeah. And so you weren't looking around the teams who were, uh, yeah, the competition. So um, in the years after, I, I started to notice that, yeah, Man United is, of course, the, the, the biggest team. I remember when we, were, when we were getting ready to play Man United, the week of that leading up to it, Patrick's dynamics changed. Did, did you notice that when he, cause he knew, was that because he knew he was coming, coming up against Keane? Do you, you remember that? Because he, yeah. he was pumped. Yeah, he. he um, you could always tell when when he got triggered somehow yes. during the week, and yeah. uh, of course a lot of players would catch him <laughs> <laughs> and, and try to wind him up, and that worked. Yeah, but uh, he used to, I used to say to him, "Man, you, you're ready for King because we need you, man." Yeah. And he used to say, "Shut up, you <laughs> stupid," because he used to get his swear words mixed up, and he used to mix his swear words up and. That's why when I used to say, instead of bonjour, I used to say bon matin. Because <laughs> so, and he used to say, shut up, you fool. You don't say it like that. And I used to wind him up. And he used to be so wound up. You could get him in that week. Yeah. Because he was so, it yeah. was so intense. Yeah. Yeah, but and he, even that game, the game, the game um, with, with the Van Nistelrooy stuff. Yeah. What was that like leading into that game, Dennis? Because that was, that was really intense, man. Yeah, I, I think, well, we spoke about the rivalry, of course. And... and it was at that stage that we were equal yes. in our minds. Yeah. And maybe were even better. Even better. So uh, it changed in those games as well. They, they could feel it. And now we had sort of a position that we, um, uh, yeah, they were hunting for us. Yes. They were coming for us. And um, yeah, we had to defend our, our um, yeah, our ground, yes. so to speak. And uh, yeah, we. It was fantastic the whole week. The build-up, yeah. it was it was something else. It was uh, we were ready for it. We were pumped. We were we were yeah we we were going to win those games, and uh, yeah that resulted that in, in fantastic Amazing. fantastic games and, and battles uh, in midfield, but all sorts of stuff <laughs> with Martin Keown, oh, the, the picture Christ. and uh, <laughs> everything. Martin, yeah, I, I don't think I've seen. When you look at him, because remember you used to, because you used to wind him up a lot in training, Dennis. I remember, you know, what I mean, it was, it was so easy to wind him up, and he, he always wanted to kick people in training. Did you find, did you find, um, did, was that a problem for you? Because I remember no. sometimes no. When, when he was in training, Martin used to get so angry. Yeah. Did that ever bother you in training some of the time? No, I, th I think it, because there was respect for each yeah. other. Yeah. It, 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 of course, he wanted to, 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 to be strong yeah. and defend strong, but I, I never mind that because, yeah, I, I did certain things in training as well, and, and that, that, that was allowed by them. Yes. So yes. it was okay. And when I remember those, those times, I, I, I speak to, to young players as well nowadays, I said there was always something happening in training. There were always. Every training there was one or two players who, who, yeah, yeah, who were confronting each yeah. other or whatever. If, probably every training, maybe three, four times a week. I don't see that anymore now. No. You don't see this. It's just very polite and relaxed and everything. But I mean, well, you remember there was always happening Fine. something. Yeah. Did, you, did you like that, Dennis, the fact that in tra the training was that intense? Yeah. Be yeah be that's what you uh, get in the games as well. Yeah. So you, 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 you love to train that. And, uh, train, yeah, train with the same intensity. Yeah, yeah, but Martin's crazy though. Martin is crazy, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. When you played in the Invincibles team, mm. how did that feel? Because like I used to watch you lot, and I used to think you're beating teams in twenty minutes. Yeah. What, what was it? What was it like when you went out there and how you when you lot were playing like that, especially when you're going through that Invincible season? I, I remember at that time, I, I'm, I think I did an interview and they asked me maybe similar question and I said well this is close to perfection mm -hmm. as you know as a team that you you know from each other exactly what the other one is going to do and where he's going to run and how he wants the ball and was it like that in training what was training like training was unbelievable but that throughout throughout the years <laughs> 
things happened in training that I thought, oh, I wish a, there was a camera out there because so many good things happened in training. Well, probably at every team, but mm. yeah, but there were so many good players at that time who could make a difference, you know? Absolutely. Um, I think in the earlier years, well, if you talk about boring Arsenal, I think a lot of uh, um, players would look at the strikers like, yeah. okay, you make a difference. Yes. Which, which, which you guys did, of course, but it's a lot of pressure. Absolutely. Absolutely. And therefore, the 1 0 or the 2 1, those sort of scores. But in, in, in the invincible season, I felt there were maybe five or six players who could make the difference in, in a game. Do you think that team should have won the Champions League? And why, why do you think they didn't? Why, how can that not? How did they not? That team being yeah. as great as it was. Y yeah, I think. But but I think Man City w would have the same uh, yeah. the yeah. same feeling yeah. over the last few years. If you if you're so good, and I, I don't know what what team we played, what with uh, knocked us out. Uh, might have been Chelsea, maybe. It, it was Chelsea. Yeah, Wayne Bridge. Yeah, Wayne so, Bridge. So, I, I feel as well. You, you need to have some luck as well. Yeah. When when you when you when you see the draw, um, to go all the way, definitely. At at some stage, I think we we were cruising probably through the the group yes. stage. Yes. And then you need some luck in um, in a knockout uh, phase. And uh, yeah, if you meet an English team, it's always going to be difficult. So Dennis, we're we're into your last season. Take, take, take me through the, the process. So the summer you've obviously said, this is going to be my last season. Mm. How, how did that come about? What, what, how did the decision come about? And, yeah. and why, 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 why then? Well, that's probably the only period in my um, career that, um, yeah, I had a few confrontations with, uh, with Arsene. Okay. Because, um, yeah, I, I, I was, subbed more and I was started was starting on the bench more than mm -hmm. uh, than before which is normal because I was 36 at the time mm -hmm. but um, yeah still I wanted to play so there was a few discussions between uh, between us but uh, I uh, I understood him and for me that was the decision as well like okay I want to play so much and and my body is I'm, I'm 36 yeah. and I can't do that anymore and I enjoy training but after every game, I, I needed two or three days to recover. Mm. So I decided, well, let's finish on a fantastic season and um, and just uh, call it a day. So, but you, so you didn't do it in pre-season. You done it as you felt it as you was going along. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I I think in the season before, I said, well, let let let's do one more, mm -hmm. and 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 that's it. It's it's nice as well. Uh, last season at Highbury and. Uh, yeah, that's gonna be good. Was he getting a lot of fat? Was a fan saying, "Dennis, don't was tired. They think that you can play till you're 50." Yeah, I, I've well, the years before, of course, the uh, the fans were shouting yeah. and, and singing uh, "One More Year," which was uh, which was good, of course, because you you need you need the confidence as well to carry on. But uh, yeah, in the end, it, it it was the best decision for me because it was time. It was yeah, you feel it, you feel it in your body, and and. It's not easy to start on the bench more than you expected to. You know, it's yeah. <laughs> it's a, a mind thing. As Even well. at that time, Dennis, you was thinking you could have, you, you you should have been playing more, or do you just accept the fact that well, I can't play more? Yeah, I, w I was thinking that, but I was accepting it at the same time. And you didn't think at all that you wanted to play somewhere else? No, 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 n never. Uh, a few years before, because then. I think three or four years before. Yeah, was there anyone I, coming? I was asked uh, by Arsenal. Or, well, it's going to be difficult. You're getting older, and yeah. um, if you want to move, you can. You know, which was a little bit of a Whoa. strange thing for me. Was there any time before that any clubs came in for you? Did you know any any, any teams when you was really firing? Yeah, I I, I knew I knew there were clubs, but. Um, yeah, I, I said to my agent straight away, no, 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 I want to... You want to stay? I want to stay. And uh, to be honest, if, if you're at a top team in Europe, I, I can imagine if you come from a, a Dutch league, yeah. you want to experience a better league. But I was in the best league at the time. 
with with one of the best clubs in in uh, in England. So, mm. and I've seen I, I had seen Italy, I had seen Inter. Yeah. So there was no urge for me to um, to go to a different country or different league or different club. I was I was happy where I was, and we were still being successful, which is yes the main thing, of course. You want to be uh, challenging for trophies and. And that happened, so I was. There was no need for me to move. The game, the last game, Dennis. It was. It was at the Emirates. Your, your testimonial. It's the only time I've played at the Emirates, and I'm quite pleased that it was at your testimonial. But was that? Was that? What was that like? The whole thing is. It's, well, it's like like a marriage. You know, you you don't you don't realize what's happening on the day. Yeah. Only afterwards you realize uh, what happened and all the players who came and all the things they said and all the interviews and stuff and then you realize yeah this is uh, this is a good, is a good ending end. to uh, to uh, yeah great career now that do you still watch arsenal at the moment dennis what what do you what do yeah. you think at the minute it's very hard not to watch arsenal at the minute when you've been involved like we've been but yeah yeah that, that's the thing what do you see when you see them now um yeah it's it, it's different of course from what i was used to with uh, with all the english players yeah. and a few foreign players it's it's now probably turned the other way around and uh, yeah it's it's sometimes it's good but mm -hmm. uh, a lot of times you don't re really really uh, feel that it's uh, the arsenal how yeah. how we know it yeah you know with the passion and yeah. and a few players who make the difference uh, it, it, it's diff it's different. It's difficult to, to, to say if it's better or yeah. worse. Well, better, of course, it's, it's always shown in trophies, yeah. and which, which aren't, aren't there at the moment. But, um, yeah, that on one, one hand, there are so many clubs, so many teams who improved so quickly to a high level, yeah. whereas Arsenal may be improved, yeah. but, but not, not, to the level. not at that level. So. It's uh, it's hard. It's difficult. It's uh, it hurts sometimes because yeah. you you feel uh, you feel about Arsenal that they uh, they should do better. But um, yeah, I'm I'm still hoping. Yeah, me too. Mm -hmm. So Dennis, because I'm I was thinking because while I'm here and we, you know I'm not, I could drive you back and we can <laughs> we can go back go back to England, could do some coaching at Arsenal or something. What's what's your coaching now? What are you thinking of doing now? You're gonna still coach? You're gonna come back one day? To, if, um, if it was out there, would you come back to Arsenal if they asked you to come and do something there? Uh, I, would, I would think so, yeah. At, at the moment, it's a bit difficult with uh, family-wise. Family, yeah. It's uh, still got a young family. Um, we, uh, we're, we're settled here, but as the kids move on, they, they, they got their own plan, of course, in, in, in life. And uh, once that uh, happens, uh, I would love to, to return into to coaching and especially uh, in an uh, academy or, or build maybe even part of a first team, you know, yes. that sort of role. Uh, I don't see myself as a, as a head coach. Uh, I, uh, I enjoy being part of a staff, a technical staff, yes. training staff, but, but, but not really being the main man. That, that's, that's for others. I yeah. like to switch off as well sometimes. Oh, then it's nice. See that? Still there. See, I can't do that. Let me do it, Dennis. Look, <laughs> it's left. Yeah, can't do it left. <laughs> Not anymore. Yeah, but you've got the, you've got the shoes on that can do that. Yeah. See the what's it called? I can only. You can tackle. I can't. See, look. See, we can only play on proper cross and yeah. with a proper ball. With a proper ball. Up. Hey. Right. If you if you talk about goal scorers. You talk about people who, yeah, who are there at the right time in the right place. But Ian always had to come from a little bit further back, and then go in that space. But every time he scored a goal, how I remember it, is just inside the post. So he knows the men, the measurements of, of of the goal, and that was for me in training as well, eh? In training, in all sorts of exercises we did. But he knew exactly where the goalkeeper was and where the, the post was on the on the far side. So that was for me with the touch of the ball. Yeah. But that's too much compliments now. Nice no, one. And make sure we're going to keep all of that. <laughs> <laughs> Dennis is Dennis is um, 
it's like I've said and said on many occasions that, you know, I, I, it's when I realise I'm playing with a world-class player, um, world-class preparation. Um, I, I don't remember Dennis ever having a bad training session. And it's something that I think all of us, all of our levels rose when Dennis came. I remember Paul Merson, when De Dennis would walk past, um, especially when he first came, I think we went to Norway and Paul, Dennis, we finished the training session and Paul Merson would go like this behind him. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because we, could, we, we literally couldn't believe that Inter Milan let him go. So once we, people saw afterwards what Dennis went on to achieve, but I knew that I was, I worked hard enough to get to play with a player like that. A world class player. I can't compliment him high enough. That's it. I can't. Nice no, one, Dan. Mm. It's good to see you, man. It's a pleasure playing with you, Dan. You made playing it happen. with you. You made it happen for <laughs> me, man. No, Dan. So the fact is, is that when you, when I started playing with you, the first, uh, the first times I realised I'm, I'm doing something right to be playing with someone of your caliber. So I just need to put that out there. Mm. Thanks, Thanks, man. Thanks, man. I love you, man. You love me. Of course. Well, say so, man. You didn't even say it. I said it I, first. But I, 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 yeah, I love you. <laughs>